you bitch. <laughs>
fix this, and then it gets fixed. But like, yeah, by the end of season three, it's just a fist fight. Bear in mind, <laughs> Megabyte's kind of basically a robot. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. he's like this sort of weird robot, fucking werewolf thing. He yeah. goes weird at times. Voiced by the magnificent Tony J. Yeah, the, the, I think the, the now late Tony J. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tony J who was Sad in yeah. a lot of stuff and you know him when you see him. So, you, know, you know when you hear him. Hear him yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can see him in um, Erie, Indiana. He makes an appearance in that. Twin but, Peaks as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, Twin Peaks. Yeah, he's the mayor's mate or something like that. Or yeah, or the mayor's brother. Mayor's brother, yeah. The, yeah. the, the, the one who they're constantly arguing. Like, yeah. Fighting yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah. Um, and you can hear him in every cartoon ever. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, he's, he's just in, in uh, so many. He did Hey Arnold, and I'm pretty sure he did like little bit parts in um, things like Ghostbusters and things like that. I think. Yeah, if if you hear sort of a, a kind of baritone British posh voice, it's yeah, probably it's Tony Jane. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, these guys, these guys are cool. But again, in terms of things, there's not much to talk about just because they are as they are. Um, like. Yeah, you can, you, po- you can only pose the arms and the it, head does too. Limited posability. And Drea, in particular, is bad at holding a trident and she's also bad at standing on her face. So. She's got these like heels, like they've got high heels on the figure. And they've got a kind of cool thing where they've actually holes in the base for the heels to slot into. But it doesn't work. We'll have to get a close up on that. Yeah. But, um, I mean, we, we did get these second hand and. They were in their boxes, but the boxes were kind of crushed, so yeah, they looked like they'd spent quite some time just, you know, at the bottom of a pile of junk, you know, so they've been crushed, and I wonder if perhaps that has kind of affected how well she stands, <laughs> but I find it best to kind of try and prop her up on a trident if you can. I see, yeah, so the trident's a bit of a crutch. Yeah, a little bit, tragically. These were found as part of a fantastic haul. Oh god, it was got a king haul. Oh, it? it was just the best. It was just fantastic. So we were. So like, you got hack and slash. Yeah, so I got hack and slash. Um, yeah, all of this pretty much came from the same thing. <laughs> and it was just fantastic. And it was it was just this guy who like had a van at a car boot sale. Yeah. Mm. Um, and there were loads of cardboard boxes. Mm. And we just were looking through, and I, I think it was like filled with nineties toys. I think it was like slash that I found first. Oh no, I might one of these that I found. And yeah, I was like I think Jack, like I found this. And was, I was like yes, and we just kept digging, and we just, it just kept coming to the point where we left stuff. Yeah, like there was a, there was a command dot com that we didn't want. Uh, yeah, I mean I already had one, but there was a glitch bob that I didn't have, and I was kind of like, oh, there you go. Yeah, mm. yeah, oh yeah, um, glitch bob being the bob from the web. Um, when when they find him again, yeah, they had him. Yeah, and the things both of us were just sort of like, mm, yeah, so, yeah. Um, um, yeah, and so these two both in boxes. Oh, everything was in boxes. Everything was boxed. Yeah, there was Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys toys. Yeah, I kind of like they were the ones I had. I really was wishing he had the the lady one, but yeah, but she's the only one I'm missing. I think. I think they're, they're, they're kind of rocking horse shit rare. Though, aren't they? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised I got that big shit. That's how I look. Yeah, so that's another story for another time. And the guy didn't know there's a guy, you know, I'm not gonna go, oh fool didn't know what he had. Yeah. But he didn't know. Like like his like he he was heard like saying to somebody else, like, Jesus, like all those toys went really well. Yeah. So he obviously picked them up. So some for whatever reason all this shit was just like sitting somewhere. Yeah. Like someone's garage for ages. And there were like, you know, 20 somethings who were like, no, no, it's mine. We like, I want it. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> and they ignored us for a long, long time. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we managed to get them. And um, like, what was it? It was like five each for these guys? I think it was just that. I think it was like three, I think it was. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that these guys were three pounds each. Um, so we were able to buy two slashes and, and yeah. a hack. And we would have bought two hacks if. There'd have been an extra one. Yeah, yeah Jack uh, got the despair slash. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the, I mean, uh, pretty much got got the hack as well. I think it was painted red. And, uh, <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. So no, it's uh, it's quite interesting. And so the big part of that haul though is what's coming up next. <laughs>
baby girl dolls from Russia recalled because they were found to have male genitals clearly visible. <laughs> Is that real or um, fake? Fake. You are correct. Hey, okay. However, All the, right. the toy is real. It was just <laughs> never recalled as far as I'm aware. It is real. It has blo- it, they're, they're cherubic faces, blonde, long, curly locks, and wangers. <laughs> I, I didn't realise that the Russians were that forward-thinking on gender. 